Hello and welcome to Rising Stars. I'm Vikram Bose. And no matter which sector you look at, businesses in India realize that they have to use digital channels to engage with their key stakeholders to take conversations ahead. The digital revolution in India that everyone is talking about is uh, creating more inroads for the Internet of Things, IoT, which uh, bridges the physical and digital worlds. So when it comes to home management activities, there are companies out there trying to improve efficiencies, and some of them are startups like Okta, which is based in uh, Noida since the year 2014. It innovates and manufactures uh, plug and play smart home products. And Nitin David is a product designer from IIT Delhi, and he's one of the founders at Okta. Welcome to Rising Stars, David. Very briefly, if you can tell us about uh, these smart home products that uh, your startup comes out with. Yeah, so. Uh Okta, at Okta, we manufacture uh, uh, IoT-based uh, home automation products, which are uh, simple, uh, easy-to-use plug-and-play devices. Uh, so uh, the basic uh, problem that we are uh, trying to solve is that of home management. So, you know, there are little things that nag you, uh, you know, about your house. Like, you know, in, in the peak summers in Delhi, uh, where we are right now, uh, you know, you, you, you're about to reach home and you wish that, you know, you had turned on uh, the air conditioner a little while earlier so that, you know, you could walk into a cool room. Or there are places, uh, you know, where uh, your, your water supply comes in at, say, 4 o'clock in the morning and you have to wake up that uh, early to, you know, run your pump. And there are so many little things like this which kind of, like, occupy a lot of mental space, uh, you know, in our lives. And uh, as a company, uh, what we are trying to do is use the power of, uh, you know, uh, uh, automation and uh, the Internet of Things, better known as IoT, uh, to build products that uh, make uh, the life uh, of the user uh, easier, like a little easier, a lot easier. That depends upon uh, you know uh, the evolution of the product itself. Because uh, the fact that these are connected devices uh, enhances and multiplies its uh, usability so much uh, that it it becomes uh, not just a physical piece of hardware, yes. but something that is alive uh, you know throughout its lifetime. As far as business is concerned, uh, how many homes have you been able to uh, yeah. uh, get into, considering you've concentrated on NCR and now only you're in Gujarat? But tell us about how many homes you're present in uh, with your products and how many products can be added and at what cost? Because I would imagine six to seven products, uh, devices, perhaps you can connect to the uh, Okta hub, like you were telling us. Okay, uh, so uh, regarding pricing, so uh, uh, you, to get an idea, we can uh, uh, look at an average uh, two BHK household, which has say two ACs, one main door, which has a you know uh, we also have a, a, a smart lock, which can be installed on your main door, and uh, so two ACs, uh, uh, two geysers, uh, one motor, uh, seven devices, uh, including the door, uh, it will come to around twenty-seven thousand rupees uh, to uh, uh, install. Uh, so this is the total uh, one-time cost of the entire uh, system. So there is no recurring cost uh, you know, involved in this. And uh, uh, secondly, uh, it's not six to seven devices. Uh, you can connect up to 50 devices uh, in, a, in a single hub. That's right. So I was and, talking about uh, it uh, more in terms uh, sorry, of uh, average by way of the number of homes that you have been able to uh, make yourself uh, present in. Uh, so what's the kind of penetration? In the US, you have several IoT products, like you have a Google Nest, you have... Belkin, Wemo, you have Samsung Smart Things and Amazon Echo, and they have a good deal of success. But I want to understand the penetration rate for uh, IoT products in India so okay. far since you started in 2014. What have you noticed? So, yes. So since uh, 2014, uh, even though even though we have uh, uh, been uh, the core focus has been like uh, in Delhi NCR, we have been selling uh, all over the country, and uh, so we are we are currently present in the last uh, two and a half years in about 10,000 homes. Uh, this includes the, uh, you know, the, uh, the Gujarat, uh, the state of Gujarat, where we are also like on the ground. What's the competitive landscape right now, uh, considering that this is all very nascent? You're going to uh, rely a lot more on uh, the yeah. broadband expansion, as it were, to make sure that all your products are up and running. They can be remote controlled on my mobile phone, etc. that I can get an air conditioner running even uh, mm -hmm. 10 minutes perhaps before I enter my own home. So that kind of... Uh, adaptation yes. and that kind of penetration within homes, uh, mm -hmm. the pace of which may still be lacking. What happens in the meantime for a business like yours? What are you concentrating on to bridge the gap between now and the time that the actual pickup happens? Yes. So one of the things that uh, you need to note is that, you know, we are not really a broadband dependent, uh, you know, device. So uh, it's designed in such a way that uh, your weakest of internet uh, connections can actually carry, uh, you know, uh, the product to run uh, perfectly fine. 
In fact, we also have a hub which runs on a GSM uh, SIM card. So if you don't have Wi-Fi also, you can uh, insert your own data-enabled SIM and uh, run the device. And that, uh, that too, even on uh, uh, 2G network. So uh, one of the focus uh, areas for us also has been that it's a very India-specific product. So, and we know that it's a real challenge in India to have uh, you know, great broadband dependency. So uh, we really believe that being very close to the Indian user and the Indian use cases and the Indian landscape, something as simple as uh, how frequently you know, we face power cuts and switchovers uh, in our country, uh, these are the things that actually matter because end of the day, the user's experience with the product and how well we communicate the user experience with so the product is what will uh, drive uh, sales. And uh, uh, you know, in, in a, in a, uh, that is, I think, uh, what fundamentally matters in the competitive landscape also. Uh, uh, Nitin, from our experience over the last two years, what we understand is that, yeah. Yeah, what me. about your funding right now? Because that's going to be important as well to uh, make sure that the next trajectory of growth is uh, yes. well entrenched. Uh, is this because uh, the bigger players are going to be here? As far as Google is concerned, uh, they have big plans as well. And this will be a very important market. Now, how do mm -hmm. you kind of uh, stand up against uh, what they bring to the table as well? And uh, in terms of funding currently and it's your next leg of growth uh, as you expand into, Indian, uh, into the Indian market, uh, how are you looking? Yeah, that's that's actually very exciting. Uh, first, uh, to come to the first question of uh, Google uh, and uh, uh, I would say Amazon Echo as well because it's a fantastic product. Uh, their arrival, uh, see, uh, the way they position their products is is kind of like an interface uh, to uh, your home. But uh, without without a product like Octor or without without something like us on the ground connecting and talking to these devices, uh, I mean, uh, it's easier for them to kind of talk to. Uh, our devices and and from a user experience point of view Amazon Echoes and Google Homes are going to be gates gateways towards this experience and uh, we are in talks uh, of integration uh, with uh, all of them in fact and uh, for, as far as we are concerned as long as we are present in a home and we are the means to controlling your home and your uh, home management experience I mean that is a space where we want to be so uh, Google's and Echoes are only going to make this more exciting uh, for the market market will grow and we will grow with it and uh, when it comes to uh, uh, funding, I mean, we have uh, recently raised, uh, I, I wouldn't want to disclose the figures, but uh, we, have, uh, we have raised a, a series with uh, 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 Mr. Uh, sorry, India Quotient, uh, which is a Bombay-based uh, uh, fund. Uh, we have uh, the founders of Flipkart, uh, Benny Bansal and uh, uh, Sachin uh, on board. Uh, we have the Spice Group and uh, uh, Patni uh, Computers, uh, their uh, uh, their home office, and uh, our lead angel investor was uh, Mr. Rajul Garg, uh, who is the founder of uh, Global Logic. So, uh, when it, you know, the, the funding situation is uh, pretty much comfortable, and uh, we are also uh, running a very lean uh, startup. Uh, and uh, uh, so, so uh, I think I think we're pretty much well placed to take on the competition. Uh, with regard to funding as well as uh, the focus on uh, the user experience. All right, Nitin, thanks so much for joining us. But of course, in the future, we're going to hold you up against the kind of promises that you make by way of the margins that you deliver and the kind of profitability that a business uh, of your size, as lean as it may be, is going to deliver considering the promise that uh, the entire space brings. And we're talking about Internet of Things.